Hello everyone. Welcome to Infigyan in this very very exciting video of exponential equations where we are going to solve an interesting equation x times 2 power x equal to 160. While solving this problem, we will use log, exponent, properties, lambda w function, graphs and we will conclude our result. I am going to present two methods. First one is lambda w function method and second one is exponential method. So let me begin this problem by writing one simple observation of this equation. Right hand side is plus 160, so obviously it would be positive. 2 power x is always positive because it cannot be negative, cannot be 0. So conclusion is because we are multiplying x with 2 power x, that means we can conclude it has to be positive. x must be positive. So we will talk about x positive only. Then only this equation holds true. Now, let me write our equation first. Then we will let me write x times 2 raised to the power x is equal to 160. Now divide both sides by 2 raised to the power x. So I will write x times 2 raised to the power x over 2 power x equal to 160 divided by 2 power x. As we all know, 2 power x is non zero. So we can divide. This term will cancel out. What is left? x. What is in the right hand side left? 160 times 2 raised to the power minus x. One more conclusion from here we will get. See left hand side we are having one linear graph line. Right hand side we are having exponential graph. Let me draw it. This is our line y equal to x or x you can write. Okay. Now 2 raised to the power minus x. This is monotonic decreasing function. You can see it is 2 raised to the power minus x. Let me consider this is in the domain. If I will show you then it is monotonic decreasing and y equal to x or x it is monotonic increasing. So at most we will get single intersection point. So we will have single solution possible. One function is monotonic increasing, another function is monotonic decreasing. So once it is happening, then you will get one intersection point. So single solution is there. Let's find out single solution using two methods. First method is lambda w function. So in this context, I am going to write x times 2 raised to the power x is equal to 160. Now I can consider this 2 using exponential property that is x we can write e raised to the power ln x. So 2 can be written as e raised to the power ln 2. So I will write x e raised to the power ln 2 whole power x equal to 160. Now exponent property I will use. Let me write that equation x times e raised to the power ln 2 whole power x is equal to 160. Property is a power b whole power c. Then I can consider we can write a power b times c. We will take the product of both the parts. So it will give us x times e raised to the power x ln 2 equal to 160. Okay. Now I am going to multiply both sides by ln 2. ln 2. Why I am doing this? To maintain this form x times e raised to the power x form. Once function is in this form and if I will take lambda w function, then it will give us x. That's why to use this property of lambda w or a statement of lambda w, I have to maintain this exponent and this multiplier or coefficient identical, same. Now it is same, x ln 2. So I am going to take lambda w function both sides. So once I will take LHS will be x ln 2. 
by this property or by this identity of lambda w right hand side will have lambda w function of 160 ln 2 okay now lambda w of 160 160 i can write 2 into 2 into 2 means 2 raised to the power let me write here this is 32 times 5 160 so i can write this one as 32 times 5 ln 2 okay now this 5 i will take to the exponent of the base 2 what i am saying a ln b can we write in the converse form in this manner yes so i will write 32 i will write ln 2 power 5 this 5 i will take to the power now you can see lambda w function of it is 2 raised to the power 5 ln 2 power 5 okay now this base change of base formula i will apply i will write e raised to the power ln 2 and 5 as it is okay so it would be you can consider like this okay ln 2 power 5 then I can write this is again the same form ln 2 power 5 ln 2 power 5 in this form in the standard form so it is matching to so right hand side I will write ln 2 power 5 LHS is x ln 2 all right x ln 2 equal to let me write here ln 2 power 5 now apply the property so i will write 5 ln 2 here i will write ln 2 so ln 2 is constant i can cancel x will come out 5 all right second method using exponential method or exponents method so i can consider our equation as x times 2 raised to the power x is equal to 160 then I will find the prime factors of 160. So if I am writing prime factors of 160, then I can write 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 5. Okay. So I can write right hand side as 5 times 2 raised to the power 5. And LHS you can see it is because of x is integer. So this method is applicable. Now you can see 2 raised to the power x, 2 raised to the power 5, x 5. So directly we can conclude x must be 5. Third approach is also possible that is logarithmic but after few steps it will connect to lambda w function. So it is not having any individual meaning. Okay, Logarithmic method was there but once you will apply for three to four steps you will connect to lambda w again i hope you like this video this this video will make some sense for you do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video please take best care of your